Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 79. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Yaris S Trophy. We're going to be taking a little little tiny toyota yaris for this one um we obviously in the last episode finished all of the semi-pro events so um let me have a look a sec the number is 59.09 percent completed so this game is it's huge um and this next segment um accounts for i believe about 12 percent somewhere around that region maybe 15 percent of the game but this is going to take 60 episodes to do this small segment w which is crazy uh the speedway and the shootouts the drag races shouldn't take too long um and then these ones also shouldn't take um a substantial amount of time the only ones that will do is probably the uh endurance events here and also the world championship is unreal how long it is uh this one is 11 races and each one is approximately about 15 20 minutes so 11 times 20 you're looking at three plus hours for a championship um but yeah we're gonna take our little yaris starting off with new york circuit sunset peninsula road atlanta maple valley the le mans bugatti circuit and then circuit to catalonia let's get going and of course, as usual, have to go for the pink Yaris. It's it's a meme to not take the pink Yaris. <laughs> this isn't even a um, manufacturer color. This is just me putting pink on the car. This is going to be hideously slow. I'm going to add that right now. It's going to be hideous. Could probably brew a cup of tea by the time this gets down the main straight. You just turn that final corner. Uh, flick the kettle on and by the time you get to the next corner it's brewed it's definitely going to take some time uh, these events my controller huh all right I got no clue what just happened there let's see if we can catch up you had a weird hiccup this is gonna be tough actually to catch up so But, I mean, if we do it NASCAR style and rely on drafting, we should catch up. Might take us two or three laps, but we'll see. Do, 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 do. Oh, got a bit too close there. What's the interior like of this car? Hideous, as always. <laughs> 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 
This is why it's better to be further at the back of the pack. Because you see dumb shit like that from the AI cars. There we go. Back up to where we need to be. Surprisingly, it didn't take that long to do, so... Car's absolutely destroyed, but... It is what it is. Kodak. It's pretty interesting. It is pretty cool to see the um, variety of, like... This is basically sponsorship heaven. There are so many sponsorships on this one track. It's unreal. Not too bad. We got four more laps to go. So uh, with these events, um, there are two columns of manufacturer-specific events. Um, where it's so the first column is uh, one-make races, basically. Um, those are like stock cars, so we're obviously in a stock Yaris, not allowed any upgrades, any of that stuff. Which is quite nice. They sort of get more and more powerful all the way up until R3 class, so that's sort of our slower vehicles um, that we're going to be doing. But then actually in the middle column, there's a much more powerful event, which is R3 all the way up to R1. Um, and I believe those are all based off of um, different motorsport categories, like different events. So rather than it just being, I'll pick an R3 car, pick an R2 car, pick an R1 car, it's like actual specific body types. So um, Le Mans prototype, LMP1, um, there's some V8 supercars. GT3 cars, GT500s, um, the works, basically. So there's a good variety of stuff. We're up to six minutes, which would normally mean we'd be getting close to our final lap in the last category. But uh, as you can see here, we've still got pretty much the rest of this lap and two more laps to go. Bad, looking good. Balls of Motorsport Three, where dreams are driven. So, as of right now, um, nothing has actually been announced for uh, the next Forza. It's been about five months since they last announced that it was coming out basically in May next year. It's not coming out in May next year. Guaranteed. Because we haven't heard a single thing about it since. I think the next motorsport game will probably come out November next year. Wouldn't surprise me if it did. Um, 
I mean, me personally, I wouldn't complain if it did. I think it'd be quite cool. Um, if they give it the extra time that it deserves. The only thing I really hope that they don't do is... Skimp out on content, like Gran Turismo 7 did. That was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, and I really hope they actually uh, crack down on doing like a proper campaign. Sort of like how uh, Motorsport 3 did it and Motorsport 4. A season mode and an event list would be amazing. Because the season mode makes it easy to just get some events under your belt. While the actual event list just means there's some events, do them, kind of thing. Cup of noodles. The little Yaris is pulling away. I'm pretty much halfway down a can of monster at the moment. There's a, um, I don't know whether it's a new flavor, but I myself have never had it before. And it is a uh, watermelon flavor, which is quite interesting actually. I am partial to a uh, good watermelon flavored drink, so. Watermelon's good. I like it. But I hate watermelon like the actual fruit because it is just like water it's like you bite into it and it's like oh there's no flavor but it's just like Ugh. not very nice we've got 14,000 credits and 11,000 xp we've got 30% discount on chassis reinforcement and roll cage upgrades by Sparko Japan and a 30% discount on air filter upgrades by InGen Sounds very Japanese, that. Alright. Sunset Peninsula. Is this the full track? It is the full track. This is going to be bare long. In it, bam. <laughs> Fucking cringe. <laughs> oh, not a chance in hell. Just really weird about that, this car, right? Is the engine always sounds like it's like really performing? Not like in a Ferrari, it's like. This thing is just constantly like. It's so bad. It's like so struggling, it's like. It's just going up like a mile an hour every minute. FedEx office. Curb, 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 more curb. A little bit too much there. Five laps around here. Bloody hell, these these races I think are gonna bug me. Because they're gonna be just so ridiculously long.
long sweeping corner driving round the corner this is a really nice racetrack though absolutely love the look of it I've only just noticed there's palm trees in here as well it's quite nice it's just a line of palm trees At least I know I'm getting messages now on my phone, which is a plus. Right, that's two laps done. It took two minutes to do that lap this time. Oh yay, my phone's on 15% of late. bad Ooh. scratched a bit of the body work off lovely we're about halfway through this race now as well. Right, car behind is 16 seconds behind. We've got a good bit of distance now. we got two more laps. Toyo tires. Yeah, so when I was planning these episodes, uh, the plan was either that every event after a certain point would just be in one episode. And I try and do as many of them in one episode as possible. But I don't physically see how I can get all six races done when every race, like, video clip takes at least 11 minutes. It would end up being, like, an hour and 10 minutes of video. So, I'm splitting that into two.
So even though the videos now are gonna like shorten down because they've been gone from like 40 minutes to 30. It's um still approximately the same amount of time. Woohoo! Let's go. We've got one more lap to go after this one. The amount of advertising for the Genesis in this game is kind of unreal. How funny would it be if the Genesis wasn't in this game? Because I know in, um... What was it? Motorsport 2. One of the cars that was advertised on... Twin... Uh, not... Yeah, not Twin Ring. Um... What was the track? New York Circuit. They were advertising, um... Some Nissan X-Trail thing. Pathfinder, whatever it was called. And obviously that car is non-existent in that game, so... It was kind of funny. But yeah, the Genesis is definitely in this game. We've taken it. I think we've taken it once. Really, I'm not a fan of older Hyundai's, but the new ones that they're coming out with, especially the N lineup, Hyundai's really making some good cars out there. But I think that's only because the N division sort of picked up its pace along with like the world rally team as well Ford on the other hand <laughs> absolutely ruined every car they've touched over the past four years like when they released 2017 Focus RS sure it didn't have any other focus to it there wasn't like a standard version of that car it was literally just the rs it was his own thing but i sort of was expecting like oh look ford's got a new design and it's actually quite nice no that car was a one-off every other ford after that has looked hideous even the puma the Puma looks like a frog. If you were to get a green Ford Puma, you could mistake it for Kermit. Not bad. We got 30% discount on flywheel upgrades by Fidanza Japan. Result. Alright, here we go, Yaris. Round. Right, we're off. It does actually surprise me that cars this slow can actually wheel spin. Like, I thought these cars were just so weak, they wouldn't even be able to, like, outperform their tyres. The tyres would just stick no matter what. They just all stall. Because they don't even have the power to spin up tyres. But apparently so. Not bad. Boing, boing. We're at 78 hours um, total playtime at the moment, which is quite a lot, actually. I really do think we're going to start seeing um, quite a few episodes over the next few weeks. Most of the events are going to be like, I think all of these are going to be two episode events for this um, sort of chunk. Um, so we're going to have 60 episodes. I think for the Speedway and the Drag Racing, I think we'll actually get multiple events in one episode, especially for the Drag Racing. 
Um, I'm hoping to get maybe no more than 10 episodes out of all of those. So we'll get quite a decent chunk of events just out of the way with that. Uh, the endurance events are all one, hopefully, uh, one race an episode. I don't think they go on for like any more than two hours. Uh, what was the other... The uh, World Championship at the end. That's sort of the one where it's going to take the longest. Because most of those championships are going to take about three, four, two hours. I think the, the first few will be like an hour and a half. Up to two hours. The middle section will be at least two hours. Um, and then the R3, R2 and R1s are like three hours plus. Easily. I think for those World Championship ones, though, I think we'll do, like, an hour an episode. So we'll deliberately make those ones longer. Because I don't really want to do, like, six episodes for a World Championship. That's a bit, a bit extreme. But yeah, like, one of them's got 11 races, so I'll probably do four episodes for that and do, like, races 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, and then 10 and 11. Alright, third of the way through the race. It's definitely going to be quite a long one, actually. Still got three more races with this thing. I am kind of glad that for the start of the events, because I didn't plan this far ahead uh, when it came to actually organizing this series, but um, I am half glad that I sort of picked the Citroen and those other like more European cars and avoided the Yaris. Because otherwise we'd be at this event now doing the Yaris again so and I'll probably be pulling off the same pink Yaris joke <laughs> twice in a row come on Get up that hill. Not bad. Oh, Jesus. That was a hit. I just downed, like, the rest of my counter monster, and that was... Whew. Don't recommend. It's a really nice flavour, though. Ultra Watermelon. 
I really hope it becomes a permanent flavour, to be honest, because... It is, like, one of the few flavours of Monster I'll actually drink. I'm not a fan of original Monster. Um, I really can't stand it. It's something about the sweeteners that they put in it that just make it sickly. It's not a very nice flavour. White Monster as well I can't stand. Which is a shame because apparently it's like the best flavour. And it's like the one that's pretty much available anywhere. That's why I stick to Red Bull most of the time. Because literally Red Bull, there's one flavour and... It's like... Pretty good. Another one I quite like, um, Green Relentless is a very nice one because it's apple flavoured. Apple flavoured energy drink, it's really nice. I think it's Relentless anyway, so I'm not sure. It might be Monster. I think Monster does one as well anyways. They both pretty much do it. They all do the same flavours. All the fucking same. I really got to look into um, investing in my capture card, so I'm probably for Motorsport 4. I'm gonna upgrade it. Because the problem I'm finding is it's not looking that great. I'm pretty sure my capture card is limited to like 20,000 kilobits a second, maybe even 10,000. Um, so it looks okay, but the quality just isn't there that I want, so I'm hoping to get something a little better, either an internal card one or potentially an external one, but I, th I think an internal one's probably the best option. Come on. This has been a really fucking long race. Ten minutes. We still have the rest of this lap to go. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Come on! Get your ass moving! Ah, oh, shut up, phone. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, actually, the next recording session, um, which hopefully will be tomorrow night, um, I'm actually going to be streaming again, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I think it's all set up. I've done plenty of tests with the internet to make sure it's stable. Um, I'm still going to be going, like, wireless rather than over Ethernet, like I did before. Um, at some point, I'll upgrade to Ethernet again, but I forgot my power line adapters, which kind of fucking sucks. 20% uh, discount on valves and displacement. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.